those streamers are shooting out over 100,000 miles from the surface of the sun. And at this scale, the size of the Earth would be a tennis ball. Sure gives you a sense of perspective. Which is very useful once in a while, but to get down to Earth, uh, excuse the pun, what can we expect from this uh, solar activity, Rudy? Well, the usual radioactivity disruption, uh, spectacular aurora borealis, magnetic storms. Anything else? Probably not. We're just entering a new 11-year cycle of sunspot activity. But we do expect the greatest concentration ever of recorded solar activity in this cycle, so we're watching it very closely. Anything specific? Not at this point. Our data projections don't indicate anything other than an acceleration of what we had during the last cycle. However. However? Well, we got a lot more hardware up there now. Gentlemen, what I'm asking you is, can we expect anything catastrophic? No. Good. Well. It's always nice to have a little bright optimism for the day. But there's no reason to be sure nothing up there will be affected. It was a short day. <laughs> Listen, don't you worry about it, Oscar. Let Rudy and I do it. That's what we're paid for. Boys, keep me informed, will you? I don't want to hear about our problems on the 6 o'clock news. OK, Oscar, bye. So long, guys. You sounded pretty confident in there. Yeah, didn't I? Yeah. Now, what do you really think? You know as well as I do, if one or two of the satellites fail, there's a domino effect. And that could jeopardize the entire program. That's a lot of years and a lot of dollars. Yeah. Listen, Rudy, you uh, wouldn't care to stop down the computer center on the way to lunch, would you? I mean, just to check and see how things are going. You know, I thought I might just do that. You know, I thought you might. Let's go. <laughs> This program won't check out. I don't know. That program looks good to me. Dr. Wells. Yeah. Take a look at this, please. What's up? I don't know. Looks like Lambda 14 is losing its orbit. It's going elliptical. Isn't that the weather satellite? Yeah. It's burned out? No. And that's what's strange. All systems appear to be functioning. Well, you think a sudden burst of solar activity could have thrown it off its course? No, that would show up as a system malfunction. Satellite's receiving and transmitting perfectly. It's simply not acting right. Well, it certainly looks like it's going down, doesn't it? That satellite was designed to function for eight to ten years. It's been up there less than four months. Well, that won't be the first time that's happened. Yeah, but not like this. Power sources have failed. We've got guidance systems, malfunction. We have collisions with space debris, but never anything quite like this. Orbit's getting critical. Institute recall procedures. If we let it act on its own, it'll burn up on re-entry. We'll use the Southern California landing site. Well, you think we should uh, go take a look ourselves? I'm getting kind of curious. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, you wouldn't have any ulterior motives, would you? Who, me? Chris, I was just thinking about you a few minutes ago. Where are you? Well, right now I'm in Washington, but uh, Rudy and I will be heading out your way within the hour. Oh, yeah? What's the occasion? Occasion? It's no occasion. We just decided to charter a plane and hop on out and see your beautiful face. Uh-huh. Well, okay, so there's a small matter of an unscheduled landing of a satellite. Well, that sounds more like it. Okay, listen, we'll be out near Ojai. Why don't you meet us? I'll give you directions. Scout NASA Tower, this is J4771, requesting permission to land. Roger, J4771, you are cleared to land on runway 19 right. Please inform Dr. Wells that the satellite recovery unit is standing by. Uh, will do, Cal NASA. See it any minute now. Huh? Take a look. That's a Roger contract. Oh, yeah, there it is. 
What? You're kidding. It's right there. Let me see. <laughs> hey, good girl. I'll go tell the helicopter. They say the winds are swirling pretty good up there. It might make recovery a little more difficult than we anticipated. Tracer 1, this is Comtra. Come in. Chris, is there a lab animal on board there? No, why? Well, because there's a sound coming from it. It's just like a heartbeat. That could be the servos malfunctioning in a guidance system. Look, I'm gonna take the jeep. I want to keep the copters in sight. I don't want to lose it in one of these canyons. You coming? Sure. Jamie? Oh, um, but uh, I'll, I'll meet you there. I can get there faster on foot. All right, let's go. You all right? Hey, you okay? Huh? Can you talk? Can you, can you tell me what happened here? Look, honey, if, if you're hurt, uh, there's one of the best doctors in the world real close by. He's on his way here right now. Can you speak? Can you speak at all? God, I want to help you. I, I just don't know what to do. Hey, wait, no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come back. Hey, you all right? Listen, relax, will you please? Just lay back here and relax for a minute. Come on, get your breath, okay? I'm not going to hurt you. What's that? I've never seen a stone quite like that before. It's so unusual. May I, may I touch it? I'll be very careful. It's incredible. Wonder where on earth you got that. I did not get it on earth. Well, you can speak. 
Of course. It's just that your language was unfamiliar to me. I had to hear it for some time before I found the key. Uh, wait, wait a second. Are you trying to tell me you couldn't speak English until just now? Nor any other Earth language. Any other Earth language? Com truck to Tracer 1. Have you got it? Over. Tracer 1 to Com truck. Yes, sir. But we've got a problem. The chute came down on a small lake over the rise from your position. Over. One lake and 25 square miles. We should have to find it. All right, Tracer 1. We'll follow you in. Now take it slow. Roger, Com truck. Tracer 1 out. Look, I think we better start over, okay? My name is Jamie Summers. I, I live over in Ojai. Now, what's your name? I'm Princess Aura. My home planet is Zorla. It's another planet in another solar system on the other side of the galaxy. Uh, look, um, Aura, I, I don't know if that's your real name or not, but uh, you don't have to tell me who you really are. Aura but... is my name. Well, OK, I can accept that, but this business about you being from another planet. Uh, look, um, honey, look, you can, you can level with me. What, did you run away from home? No, my parents sent me away. Well, that's absurd. Why? They were afraid I'd be captured and held hostage in the war. So they sent me to Pawn. That's a planet of sanctuary on this side of the galaxy. Uh, did you... Uh, wait a minute. What war? Come on. The war between my planet and Dulo. If you are from another planet, then how did you get here? Where is your spaceship? Well, to get to Pawn, you have to pass by your sun. It was a solar storm, and it caused my spacecraft to go off course. I saw your little mechanical moon whirling around. What mechanical moon? The one that landed in the lake. Oh, you mean the satellite? I moved alongside it and got inside. Then I forced it to land. I, uh, I saw that satellite coming down. It's much too small for you to get in. And besides that, it's full of instruments. That's true. Well, then how did you do it? Condensation. Condensation. What is that? It's, it's just the spotting helicopter. It's leading the men from the recovery team here. I have to go. Wait, no, 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 no. Come here, where are you going? Please let go. No one can know I'm here. It's bad enough that you saw Look, me. Look, I don't believe your little story about you being from another planet, OK? Now, maybe you, you ran away from home, or you're in trouble with the police or well, something. I That's OK. You, it's true. Just because something is hard for you to believe, does that mean it's not true? Uh, look it, wait a minute, I'll make you a deal, okay? I'm not gonna leave you out here alone. Now listen, come to my house. We'll get out of these wet clothes, and then you tell me the truth, okay? Start from the very beginning, and I promise I will listen to you with an open mind. All right? Okay, come on. We beat her here. Well, she'll probably be along any minute. Come on, let's go take a look. That's great. Great. Right time, wrong place. Therefore, wrong equipment. Yeah. Something about Murphy's Law, all things being equal, we lose. Got any idea how deep this lake is? I'd say about 20, 30 feet. Yeah, plus, uh, who knows what junk is down there for it to get tangled up in. Well, we're just going to have to take our time and do it right. You know something? We're never going to get divers and equipment up here in time before we lose the light. Now, this kind of operation is four times as hard at night. We're going to have to wait for the examination. All right. Look, I'll, uh, I'll get the wheels in motion. Yeah, and, and call the air police, will you? Uh, have them send a couple of guards down here to keep the souvenir hunters away. back at the comp center and look over the data, would you, Dr. Wells? Can't think of anything I'd rather do, Mr. Williams. OK, then we can stop by at Jamie's car and see what happened. Right. You look a lot better. You feel better, too? Yes, I do. Thank you. 
Well, I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. Now it's your turn, lady. Well, my name is Aura, and my parents rule a planet called Zorla. We were recently attacked by the soldiers of the planet Ulo. Many people died in that battle for our planet. A short time ago, our forces launched a counterattack, which will determine which planet will be victorious. My parents feared for my safety, and they sent me to Pawn. That's a planet of legal sanctuary. If I was there, I'd be safe. Here, I'm not. Why not? Because Earth is in a sanctuary. The Uluans will probably be looking for me. And if they capture me, my father will have to decide between my safety and the welfare of the people of our planet. Well, how could they find you here? You weren't even supposed to come to Earth. I don't know. But the Uluans are the best trackers in the galaxy. I don't think you have to worry about that, Ara. There is no way that anyone from outer space could land on the Earth without the, a lot of people knowing about it, including some good friends of mine. say. You seem so honest. Your story is so believable. But it's so unbelievable. I mean, how could you possibly come down on that satellite, huh? Condensation. You said that before. What, what do you mean by that? Maybe that's not the right word. I mean, I made myself small enough to fit. Are you asking me to believe that you can just make yourself small at will? Why didn't I think of that before? Now, this is one thing you're not going to have to take my word for. Now, watch. Ara, where are you? I'm down here! Oh, my. You know, I, I could, I, you could. You mean that everything that you've told me is true? Then you really do think that there are people from this other planet coming after you? I know they are, if they can. Okay, well, uh, um, look, you're going to need more protection than I can give you. I happen, I happen to work for a man, his name is Oscar Goldman. He's a good man. He's also one of the most powerful leaders on our planet. Now, he has the resources to protect you. I think I should call him. No. No one can know I'm here. Ara, your being here is one of the most important things that's ever happened to us. And I can't just keep it to myself. I have a responsibility to him. I have a responsibility, too. The survival of my people. What? What is that? That is what? just a telephone. It's, some, it's an instrument that we use to talk over distances. People. That, uh, that we ran away from at the lake today are my friends. And it's probably them calling to find out what's happened to me. What are you going to tell them? Hello? Jamie? Are you all right? What happened to you? Yeah, I'm fine. Hi, Chris. Um, well, nothing happened. I just got really tired all of a sudden, so I came home. And then I was going to call you, but I, uh, I fell asleep. I'm sorry if I worried you. Did you uh, recover the, the satellite okay? No. Would you believe it came down in a lake? <laughs> we have to get some divers and some underwater equipment out there, so we're going back tomorrow. There is, however, one bright spot in this whole mess. We'll have the whole evening together. Oh, I think I just better 
go to bed early and get some sleep, okay? Honey, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine, babe. Really, I, I just, I just pooped, okay? Okay. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow and let you know how we made out. Listen, you uh, get some rest. Take it easy and get your strength back, okay? Okay. Bye. She okay? Yeah, yeah. She said uh, she was tired and then she went home. That's not like her, Rudy. Well, you know, Jamie, if there's something she thought you should know, she'd tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate lying to people. I understand, and I'm sorry. But you won't have to lie for very long. The war will be over soon. How are you going to get home without a spaceship? Well, if Zorla wins the war, my parents will be able to retrieve me. Gulo wins, then... You won't have a home to go to. Oh, that's okay. It's uh, Max. He's a friend of mine. I think you two are going to get along real good. I thought you weren't going to tell anyone. Oh, well, you don't have to wait. That's okay, Max. Wait a minute. You're very reliable. Uh, language is very strange. It's going to take me longer to learn than yours. I don't think Max is going to expect you to learn how to bark. He's an animal? Well, don't tell him that. My goodness, you can hurt his feelings. <laughs> Max is my friend. And I bet you he'd be your friend, too, if you just kind of scratch him on the head like that. <laughs> Why don't you two kind of get acquainted, and I'm going to go see if I can find you some Earth-type clothes, okay? Belden reporting from satellite landing. Belden reporting from satellite landing. Go ahead, Belden. Everything seems to be okay. Uh, check, Belden. You're clear. You will report in again at 2100 hours. Will do, Lieutenant. What's up? I'm calling about what's down, pal. You were the guy that told me not to worry, remember? No, Oscar. I'm the guy who told you that Rudy and I would do the worrying. 
And we are. Hi, Oscar. I'm on. Okay, boys. Fill me in. Well, the land of 14 came down in a lake. And we're going to have to wait until morning for retrieval. Meantime, Chris and I have been going over the data for a few hours. What did you find out? Well, all the data seems to point to the same thing. The satellite's orbit decayed because of a sudden increase in mass. The mass returned to normal after the satellite landed. Do you suppose that the satellite might have gotten fouled up by those sunspots we've been getting, throwing off the data? Uh, that's possible, but unlikely. Now, the data was too specific, not like it would be in the case of a solar interference. Well, what about magnetic space garbage? Do you suppose it might have picked up something out there and then lost it when it landed? We won't know anything until we've examined the satellite in the morning. Look, boys, I want you to keep in touch with me this time. I want to know everything, all right? Will do. Okay. Good luck. So long. Bye, Oscar. I wish you could hear my mother sing. So peaceful. Well, maybe someday I'll be able to. Oh, look at our fire. Oh, it's my wood. Listen, you think you think you got a trick, kid. Watch this one. Ready? Bionics. Actually, it just means that I have some special qualities that makes me a little stronger than most people. Max does, too. If you ever crash land on Zorla, that's how you can make them believe you're an alien. <laughs> that's a good thing to remember. Listen, I'm starving. How about you? I think tonight, in, in honor of your being here, we should have um, Jamie's special salad. How about that? Because it's out of this world. I'm Bad joke, huh? <laughs> Come on, you can help me make it. What should I do? Oh, just um, get in the refrigerator and get out all the things that look like that look like plants. Okay, they're vegetables and fruits, things like that. We are going to create a masterpiece, and you are going to love it. All right. What's the matter? I don't know how to get it open. Oh, just pull on the hand. Yeah, pull on. There you go. Okay. And the stuff down the bottom—that's what you want. Okay? But it's going to take a lot longer if you continue to bug the chef. I'd say no more. Mmm. Oh. This is lettuce. All right, now this is the main substance for a salad. Usually when I clean it, I kind of like to... Well, it doesn't matter. It's already been cleaned. But I do take off some of the soft leaves on the outside here, see? Okay, and then I, then I break it with my hands. Don't ever cut lettuce with a knife, okay? It's much better when you just pull it apart with your fingers. And then we can put in some of these tomatoes and mushrooms. And, oh, this cheese is fantastic in the salad. Just take it.
Barbara. Honey, you okay? You wake up, baby. Come on, huh? Can I just knock you out? What's the matter, Chris? Are you as frustrated as I am? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. I was thinking about Jamie. Something about the way she sounded. Uh, I don't know. It's just a feeling, but... Uh... Well, intuition has been one of man's most valuable assets since the beginning of time. If you feel that way, why don't you call her? She's probably sleeping. I'd hate to call and wake her up. On the other hand, better to feel like an idiot than be sorry, huh? Operator, I'd like to make an emergency phone call, please. 555-7386 from Christopher Williams. One moment, sir. I'll try that number for you. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. That number is temporarily out of service. I'll be glad to report it for you. Thank you. So, look, something's wrong now. I know it. Can I go out there? Sure. Go ahead if you feel that way. I'll, I'll hold Alan for it. Thanks. Those are the two guys you were telling me about? They're Ulu and soldiers. Are they twins? No, they're clones. That's where they can communicate with mind thought. You know, those weapons that they have are pretty powerful. But what about the guys themselves? I mean, is there anything special about them without their little toys? Not that I can think of. Well, then all we have to do is disarm them, right? <sighs> yeah. What about this light? You know what this means? I don't know where it's coming from. It's an Uluan force field. What's that? Well, I think it's an energy field that surrounds us and keeps us inside this space. I've never really seen one before, but I think that the more force you apply to the field, the stronger it is. Well, where does it get its power? I'm not sure, but I think that thing up there controls it. Let's check it out, huh? huh? Oh. Oh. Remind me not to do that again. 
Does it seem like they're looking for something to you? Their ship. Does it seem like they're having trouble? Solar activity, of course. Your sun is interfering with their signals the same way it interfered with my spacecraft. Well, how long does this solar interference last? That's unpredictable. It could be very short or it could go on a long time. But as soon as they're successful, Sorry I got you into all this. They'll probably kill you, too, after they've shown you off on Ulo. Hey, come on. Let's spend whatever time we have trying to figure out how to get out of here, okay? Not worrying. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Come on, you're doing just fine. I mean, you gotta be scared out of your mind anyway. I shouldn't be. I'm a princess. My parents have have taught me since I was able to speak that I've got to be prepared to leave my people. I'm prepared, I'm just scared. Honey, you're still a very young girl. Even an adult would be scared right now. I'm scared, okay? What we gotta do is uh, try and release some of that fear, okay? Before we can get anything done. Now, come on, take a deep breath. Let it go, let it out, ooh. Okay, do it again. Just let it go. Feel some of the fear leaving your body? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> okay, now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Stay, stay, don't put your head down. Okay. See that over there, Max? It's a little box, huh? Yeah, now don't run until I tell you. What's that? What's what? Somebody's coming. Now, go get it. Come on, get that little thing over there. Go on, let's bite it.
Be their ship. Wonder why they didn't take us. I don't know. There was somebody at the door. We won. What? Sorla won. That's what happened. That's why the Uluans didn't take us. The war is over. I can go home again. How? This stone is very special. It's like a lifeline. My parents gave it to me, so no matter where in the universe I was, they could retrieve me once it was safe to come home. They're taking me back there now. I'll make sure that the people of Zorla never forget the debt they owe you and of this sanctuary earth. And I'll never forget you either, Jamie. And you've taught me so much. You're far more involved than we thought. Maybe we will meet again someday. Goodbye, Jamie. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, little one. about it? Well, yeah, I want to tell you. I want to tell everybody about it, but I think you're probably the only one that's going to believe me. 